is Maximites. My name is Phil, and I think I might have overdone it with the science. I mean, what's a better use of science than creating a whole bunch of slime? Well, I did, and you know what? It's really cool. <laughs> slime. I love slime. It always makes me feel like a mad scientist, but I need a good mad scientist laugh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it needs work. Anyway, today we're talking about polymers. Polymers like slime. But you see, polymers aren't really a substance. They're more how something is constructed. And there's all kinds of different polymers. There's slime, obviously, and rubber polymers, like, well, like rubber. And there's also hard polymers, like plastic. Now, polymers are all kind of constructed the same way, like this. This is a chain. Yeah, so imagine this is a chain of molecules and all the molecules are the same and they just repeat in a long line. Now, when you get a polymer like slime, all the chains are not connected or very loosely connected, which means that they can flow over each other like a slime or sort of like a liquid and they behave like that. So that is slime. But when you get to a rubber polymer, you start to get little bonds in between the chains of polymers that work like this. You see, they still move around a little bit, but they can, they can spread apart and they become flexible and bouncy. Yeah, I know, a chain, a chain doesn't really bounce, but rubber polymers do. Huh? Now, when it gets to a solid polymer like plastic, there's a lot more links and it's all kind of interconnected and it doesn't move at all. It doesn't move, okay, again, harder to tell with the chain, but plastic is very hard and rigid. So let's dive into the world of polymers and make some slime. <laughs> yeah, too mad, not enough scientist. I'll keep working on it. Anyway, to make slime, take your white glue and pour in uh, an amount. It really kind of depends on how much slime you want to make. Now, you want to add about twice as much water as that. Uh, yeah, somewhere around there, great. Now we want to put in just a little bit of soap. Mm -hmm, maybe there, that's good. And you want to put in your food coloring. I like green. Green seems like the right slime color to me. It's the right appropriate mad scientist kind of slime. And then you want to start mixing that up till you get the right kind of consistency. That means make sure the glue and the water are equally mixed up. Good. And now we're ready to make it an actual slime by bonding the polymers together by adding liquid starch. Mm -hmm. Very good. And you want to mix it up. When you add the liquid starch, it starts to bond the chains of molecules together, changing it from a liquid to a slime. It's coming along. And there you go. Slime. Now, if you want clear slime and not opaque slime, you want to use clear glue and not white glue. But that's basically the recipe. So there you go. Slime. <laughs> Too super villain? Yeah, okay. Well, anyway, we. Good. All right. <laughs>